Good, just, you know, introduction to camp is like, you know, this is great, but we're going to flip this chapter now. We're going to start a new chapter. This is what all this that we did here, that's like what this is for. Yeah. I, think that puts us on I can't imagine you ever expect a strength coach to say that. Right? No, it's, it's really weird, but it's, it's obviously super good. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, I don't know if there's been a college football player who's been through more change in a program than you have. Is this the most stable that this program has been since you've been here? For sure. I mean, top to bottom, I feel super good about this program. I mean, um, we have great people here from, you know, our, our maintenance staff, janitorial staff, all the way up to Coach Leifold. This is, this is by far the best just culture, best environment that I've ever had here. Is there something that you can, like, like an anecdote, something that has stood out to you that, really demonstrates the difference between now and maybe when you got here yeah i mean i think <clears throat> um you know when i got here i feel like it was um you know a little crazy a little, a little out there but like here there's there's clear expectations you know there's there's really no gray there's you know black white you know there's expectations they explain the expectations and so and then we hold each other accountable to those and so i think you know past teams i don't think we've necessarily had all of that and i think um they did a good job you know bringing in obviously their culture um, and that has now become our culture, and it's become, you know, just just a, 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 a way to uh, that we can just, you know, <clears throat> know what we're doing, and there's no, like I said, there's no gray. It's always like this or that. I'm curious about Lance too, real quick. But it seems in college football these days, a lot of coaches get to be head coaches just because they can recruit, them, right? They can bring in the best players, throw them out on the field, and whatever happens, happens. But Lance and a few other coaches um, just down the road, just climbing, is, is sort of the same way. Our actual like football coaches, right? Uh, do you get that sense too? Like he's a guy who's going to make you better and, and, and really has that kind of old school football coach mentality. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's down there on the field, you know, coaching us up, um, doing a lot of great stuff. And, and I, I, I love that about him. And um, yeah, and I think that he does a great job. And, and to him, it's like less about just, you know, four or five star recruits. It's about like bringing in the right people that, you know, are going to build our culture up, you know, advance our culture. And, you know, and, and the talent will come, you know, as we start rolling and things like that but yeah I love I love that he's involved I love that he's on the field you know coaching us up it's it's great how much more comfortable do you feel like this team is with the coaching staff and the coaching staff with this team than, they, than it was a year ago when Leipold and his crew were, were brand new yeah I think I think we just got time to be a little more cohesive um, especially this off season. you know we did more stuff with the coaches with players and it just allows <clears throat> um, us just to know each other a little better because I mean even if you ask Leipold like he was telling us like last summer he was even like i don't really know what we have like you know i haven't seen these guys play yet really and and you know we we didn't you know we, we were just like a little unfamiliar obviously and so and we only had like two months to get there and so um but this obviously we've had a whole off season with them and and all of that and i think it's just it's done wonders for us cohesively as a unit I'm wondering if you about, turn. Oops, sorry. You can talk to us about your relationship with, with Leibold or even just continue the coaches on, on that staff and how that's kind of developed over the year. Obviously, you see them in practice and work out, workouts and stuff, but obviously you spend a lot of time with them besides just that. So how have those relationships come? And is there anybody specifically that you feel like you've gotten really close with? Yeah, I mean, um, I think a way you can I – mean, I think it's just trust. I mean, we – um, you know, like I said, we've been doing more things together and, um, you know, I know I can come to Coach Leipold with anything um, or Coach Sleeve or Coach Panagos, um, or any of the coaches really, but those are the three coaches obviously I'm, I'm more close to. Um, you know, they, they help me out a lot with, because um, I'm married and so, um, so they help me out a lot just working with me with that and trying to, you know, honor my marriage while doing this and so, um, but yeah, the, I mean, those, those three are, 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 I can go to anything with them. That's pretty cool. I'm wondering for you in terms of some of the, the scheme changes from year one to year two. I think yeah. Coach Leipel talked about playing on edges more. From your perspective as a defensive tackle, how has it changed from last year where you don't have as much time to now you have spring, obviously day one of camp, but how has it changed? Yeah, I think, um, I think because we had less time last year, I think that we carried some of our <clears throat> defense in from, 
uh, the previous coach, like, like you know, when we were running three down, I think we carried that a little into our four down. And so I think this year, you know, we've kind of refocused, you know, with um, Coach Panagos putting us more on edges and, and just allowing us to go. And I think that's helped us um, to, <clears throat> to be able to set the edge better and, um, you know, stop the run. I think it'll help us to stop the run and also, you know, when it goes to pass, translate to pass as well. What does playing on edges look like for someone that knows nothing about football? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> You don't know anything? For the most part, it's like, you know, when, um, um, you know, I'm, I'm, when the, when the line, when the, I don't know, if I'm playing on the guard, if I'm shaded on the guard, like, it just, like, when, if I get off the ball, like, go straight, like, whatever he does allows me to just play vertically and kind of um, put them back um, so that I'm less playing side to side and more, like, playing vertical that allows me to kind of, like, um, do a good job of, like, like setting the edge to let the running back can't like count he has to go back if that makes sense yeah so almost like just getting out field is much yeah, yeah 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 okay. what's you, we talked about this a little bit in the spring but now you've had the full spring working with just coach Pentagos and having just